Hello and welcome to another video. In the previous video, we learned about paddings, margins, and borders. In this video, I am willing to tell you about the grid system in Telvin CSS. Though we have two uh, twins, Flexbox and uh, grid uh, system in CSS3, uh, we'll discuss about both in this series. But in this video, we'll specifically study about grid system in Telvin CSS. Uh, someone may prefer the Flexbox or someone may prefer the uh, grid system. But uh, either one you choose, you can go with and they both are uh, incredible. So you can create different uh, web pages. So let's get into it and uh, let's see what we have in the Telvin CSS documentation about the grid system. When you search like grid, uh, we don't get a title for it, but we just uh, get some uh, some topics like Flixbox and grid and grid template rows, grid template columns, because grid itself. Uh, as just one utility class and tell me has not uh, created a title for that so we can go with the grid template columns whenever we want to create like a structure like a grid system like this one that is very easy in Telvin CSS we just have to mention the grid class and the number of columns and if you want a gap between elements of the grid so we just mentioned the gap as well that is pretty simple and pretty cool so let's get started and dive into the visual studio code first confirming that the watcher is running and i'm commenting this one and uh, i'll push it into github and you will find the link below in the description someone just commented in the previous videos that uh, you uh, forgot to publish the codes in github so i've done that and i'll put the link in the description okay creating a new div and like uh, making a grid layout of having two columns or some something like that so giving the class and inside our parent div i'll create two other divs for the first column and this one for the second column okay so giving them some uh, sort of uh, content this is for the first grid and this is for the second okay then uh, giving the parent item uh, be background color for example bg of uh, red 500 let's check whether it is available on our browser or not yeah we have that and now making it a grid system and bringing this two side by side and in, in a row so giving it the class of grid then uh, of now you have to mention the column grid calls number of calls for example if you want two columns so you just say it grid calls two now let's save it and let's refresh it we got the two columns uh, let's uh, remove this background color from the parent and give it to our two elements bg red 500 and for the second one bg blue 500 let's save it and see yeah now if we want some kind of gap between our columns we can mention this gap in the parent element so we just say gap that is about gap one two three four five or six it is i don't know till it has got many utility classes so we just give use gay gap five four let's see yeah we got the gap now everything is fine okay so going further we can just find the in this uh, sort of things that uh, if you want a column to be as wide as two columns one column wider is uh, two columns so first let's add another column of uh, before adding another column we have to change it to three because we are going to add another column if we uh, don't change it and uh, just put it as it is so after adding the other column uh, we will get the data uh, on the other row because we have not mentioned that we want three columns so the grid layout will automatically put it in the other row 
this is the first row and this will be the second row so our, if i mention it here that i want three columns in this query system so it will be fine everything will be fine and they will be put together in one row okay so coming here and just removing this some extra words okay giving it a uh, background color class bg like purple maybe purple 500 is it correct yeah <clears throat> now we got okay so how if we want our red column to be as wide as two columns means still here so we can just say on our first item grid item that um, call span dash two this means that um, make this column uh, uh, as wide as two columns so when we come and refresh it here we can get that this is as wide as two columns uh, let's make our column fancy giving the padding of four or five all of them and now how if we just want our this column to be as wide as two rows just take the rows of uh, in the place of two rows so bring this red uh, column to down till here and may put this one here inside uh, in this section so we just say here as we had uh, for making it as uh, expanded as two columns we use call span and if we want to expand it as two rows so we just use row span two maybe. or we can use three so you may have something like this one as you can see that in, uh, with this way we can uh, create different types of grids and so i don't want to make it more complex than uh, yeah, when you just get to know about the grid and start and practice it you will learn more and if you had any question uh, so please mention it in the comment section uh, thank you very much and